Hey everyone, Corinne from the Red Carpet Report. Tonight we are in Beverly Hills at the Paley Center for the season two premiere of Outsiders. <laughs> Peter, Corinne again. Nice to meet you. Corinne. How are you doing tonight? I'm very well. What an exciting night. I Executive am producer and just. <laughs> You know what? This is the best way to describe it. If I was in your shoes, I think I would say the exact same thing. Well, yeah, you'd be moist, but yes, <laughs> if you were in my shoes. It goes all the way down there. It's <laughs> amazing. Tell me about your experience. I mean, he had, you know, with being the temperature that it was on set and having, um, having enco you're encompassing so many elements within this film, so many universal themes, I should say. Where, how did that all come about and spark for you on your behalf as a producer? Well, you know, uh, the show was created by Peter Mattei, who wrote the original pilot, and it was just a very compelling, um, I loved reading it, and I could actually visualize the world, which doesn't happen a lot. It was just a compelling story, you know, and I just got hooked in and really enjoy, it's sort of different writing for me, but I really enjoy doing it. And wanting it to be heard. Yeah, I mean, it's just different, you know, there's a lot of shows on television right now and, and being different is a, is, a, is a good thing to be. Sure, I'm sure. How long is the time frame from when you have this, when you enjoy such a story, from that moment until, until fruition? Just for those that really don't understand the process and the need that it takes to like really get this to where it is today. Well, yeah, uh, you know, it's a it is sort of a long process. I would say... Uh, to the point of actually him having written that script and selling it to actually having something shot could be a year, you know, because uh, WGN didn't order just one episode. It wasn't a pilot. They ordered 13. So we had to go into a writer's room and break all the stories, and that took three months. We had to cast it. We had to then figure out where we were going to shoot it. Ultimately came up with Pittsburgh. We had to cast all that, hire all the crew and everything like that. So it's like a year by the time you're done with post-production and everything like that. It's a lot of time. From start to finish. As a younger boy growing up, were you always intrigued by television, film? Like, was this the world that you saw yourself? You know, I think I wanted to be an actor when I was a little boy, but I, but I, the, the, the first memory I have uh, when I was a kid, when about five years old, was watching the Dick Van Dyke show. And, and they were... Love it. And they were writers, you know? And I thought, that's like, that looks like kind of a fun life where you just laugh all day and make jokes, and then you go home at night and get to see Mary Tyler Moore in her underwear. I thought, that's... That works. That you are a comedian on the low, too, I think. Oh, yeah, exactly. So, you know, well, I started out as a comedy writer mostly, so, yeah. There it is. There it is. I see it in you. So, what, one last question. What is the most important message you would like viewers to pull from a project such as this? You know, I guess the reason, I think, looking at um, some research that the network has done, you never know what people are going to respond to. But I think people have really hooked into the idea of this family. Yeah. that really supports each other in terms of supporting themselves for survival. So there's such a focus on family that I think that's sort of important to people. Agreed. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Certainly. Have an awesome night. Nice talking to you. You too. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and in the comments below, please tell me, one, do you like my dress? And two, who is your favorite outsider?